Hey guys, Technomentary with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to fix your speaker if they're not working, if you're not hearing any sound from your device. In this video, we're gonna walk you through the basic troubleshooting, and later on in the video, we're gonna tell you guys how you can fix this if it's a still an issue for you. But before we go ahead and get started, if you guys are new to our channel, we do a lot of tech news, reviews, and giveaways, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, if you guys or in the market for one of the newer iPhones, make sure you guys check out the link in the description where you can find some great deals on the newer iPhones at a discounted price. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with today's video. The first thing you wanna do is make sure that your silent button is not all turned on. So the silent button is right here. Right now when it's pointing downwards and you can see that orange red on, that means the silent button is on. You wanna make sure that is upward and it's turned on if it's jammed or something try to make sure that you can push it upwards that's the first thing you want to do so as you can see here when we do that it's going to say silent mode is off so that's the first important thing to do the second thing you want to do is make sure your volume is actually up so the volume button on the iphones are on the left hand side the down one here and then the up one here you're going to press and hold till you see that slider go up you might also see it depending on your ios version go across here when the volume is up and down that means your volume buttons are functional if either of these buttons are not functional if your volume up isn't functional or the silent one isn't working most likely it's a damage internal damage and you'll need to get those replaced so that's an important thing to note is to make sure that the buttons are working the next thing you want to do is after you have done that or if you can't do it using the buttons here you want to go into settings and once you're sending this is ios 14 but pretty much any of the ios you're going to look for the sounds and haptic so if you can find this in your settings on ios 14 you'll see sounds and haptic and then you want to see that slider here for ringer alert this one you want to make sure it's not down here that means it's silent as you can see here if it's there you want to manually go ahead and adjust it accordingly and bring it all the way up top now your sound are on on this phone and then the next thing you want to do is make sure that your bluetooth is actually turned off so what happened is that if your phone is connected to a bluetooth maybe your car maybe your stereo or a speaker system and it's connected and you don't know about it that that might be the reason why you're not hearing any sound because it's connected to a device especially with a lot of devices going on if you have your airpods or something else connected of course you're not going to hear the sound through the iPhone, it's gonna go directly to that other device you're connected. So that's the one thing you wanna do is turn off the Bluetooth. The next thing you want to do is actually, if all of these are, haven't been working for you, is open up an app like YouTube or any other app that where you would normally hear your speaker. So we have a, here, as you can see, a YouTube video. And what we can do here on this video is actually go ahead and adjust the volume here. So make it big. And as you can see here, we're able to go ahead and look at the volume here on this phone. And as you can see here, this will allow us to control the volume settings here on this device. And to do that, you can go into the mode here. Let's go ahead and turn this off. And this indicates that the phone volume is on right now. So you can just close that out here. The next thing you want to do is make sure that if your phone is outdated or needs software update, it's up to the most latest software. So you go into setting and then general and software update and see if there's any updates. And if there is one, as you can see, this one needs another update. Go ahead and download the update. Sometimes what happens is when you update your phone or get a new update, sometimes that can break the existing software on it and cause some internal issues have making sure that is up to date it ensures that your phone is fully functional. Next thing you want to do is if all of that haven't worked for you is actually restart the phone. To restart the phone on newer iPhones like the iPhone 10 and above, you're going to hold the volume up button here and the side button on the right side together at the same time. So if you hold it together at the same time, you notice the slider comes up to power it all off. You're going to slide that off and then let it just slowly power off so power cycling the phone is always a good idea whenever you have any sort of issues because it lets the phone recharge restart and reset everything and be able to sort of go ahead and clear everything out and get a fresh start and then you're going to want to do is power it by going 
and you're going to hold this, this time to power back on you're just going to hold the side button you don't need to hold the power volume up button and you'll see the apple logo once you see the apple logo let go of that side button and wait till it fully turns on and then after it does turn on fully check your volume this time make sure volume is up again and your silent button is on all of that stuff that we mentioned in the beginning of video all right next thing you want to do is do a, what's known as a force restart as we mentioned to do that simply you're going to press and release the volume up down and then vol here you go volume up and then volume down and then hold the side button keep on holding the side button as you can see here right now you're just going to keep on holding it you'll see this probably come up don't slide it to do anything and once you see that it's black screen just keep on holding the side button again until you see the apple logo once you see the apple logo it's doing a force restart or force reset and this method should clear out a lot of the internal oh, memory and the power cycle through all of the hardware inside the phone and that should pretty much do it for you and if that doesn't work the next thing you're going to want to do is what's known as backup and restore and to do that simply you're going to make sure you're connected to either iTunes or if you have the iCloud backup here you can go to iCloud and then make sure your iCloud backup is on and back up your device here by clicking on backup now and that will back up your data and everything up to five gigs unless you have bigger storage that's why using itunes is probably the best once you have done that you're going to go ahead and go through doing a full reset of all of your data and if you go into settings uh, reset erase all contents and data but before you do that make sure you're backed up either using icloud or um, iTunes and to do that we're going to leave a videos in the description section where you can follow that more in depth and hopefully that resolves the issue and if all of that does not resolve the issue you're going to want to do is actually take it to the Apple store or authorize Apple retailer that can actually do the repair and take a look at the actual hardware because it could mean actual hardware damage where you're gonna have to open up the phone and replace the internal speakers and that's unfortunate but that's a physical damage sometimes that can happen from a phone being dropped or liquid getting in it or if screen cracked or anything like that and that's where they can help you so hopefully this video is helpful in resolving your issue if your speakers are not working and by end of the video the speakers are working if this video is helpful please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time